This video is called The Thing You Have to Know, and it's a video for Chapter 7 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. This part of this chapter deals with taking photographs and mapping to them, uh, mapping them to faces in your model. So what we've done in previous videos here, adding photos to faces, stretching a photo over a face, and scaling your model until the photo looks right, is actually take this photograph of a building that I took and map it to this box here. And once I've got it there, what I might want to do is actually use the information in the photo to start modeling this building. So let's take this doorway as an example right here. You'll see that there's a rectangle here, and that's a nice kind of easy doorway. What I want to do is just kind of draw a rectangle where that doorway is, and then push that in, and I'll have an actual three-dimensional model of what's right now only shown in my little two-dimensional photograph on the surface of my model. Okay, let's hoping uh, that's actually, let's hope that that's, that's clear. What I'll do is I'll take the rectangle tool, and I'm just going to kind of click down here on the bottom of the rectangle, and then I'm going to click up here on the top. And uh, I'm going to change the way that my model is viewed right now. I'm going to go over to face style. I'm just showing you this. This isn't something you have to do, but I wanted you to be able to see what's actually going on. Okay, so what I've got here is a box. Uh, there's a photo texture which isn't shown in this viewing mode right now, and I've got a rectangle on the front of it, just like that. Okay. Let's go back to the texture. So now you can see the rectangle that I have on that face. And all I want to do now is just take the push pull tool and push this back. Okay, I'm pushing, I'm going to pretend that this doorway is way inset. It doesn't look from the photo that it is, but I'm going to pretend that it's inset like two feet. So let's type in two feet just like that. Now, hopefully you can see what's going on here. What I want to show you is the inside faces of this doorway. So you notice this face that I'm hovering on right here. Let me indicate in the white. So it's this face and this face over here, and even this face up here that represents the top of the door, you see how it's kind of the, the photo from over here has been repeated. So here it says crepe right there on the window, and here it says crepe as well. That's because it's just kind of arbitrarily taking the photo from here and wrapping it around. And you'll see that that's going to be the case over here too and over here. And that's kind of inevitable when you're working um, with these photo textures, but it's not desirable. So. Um, there is a way to get around it, and most people don't figure this out, but I'm going to show you uh, what you need to know, which is why this video is called The Thing You Need to Know. I'm going to take that push-pull tool and just push this back up to where it was, and I'm actually going to erase that rectangle altogether, so I'm not going to worry about the rectangle for now. Let's just kind of go back and show you what I have again. Remember, I have a box, and it just looked like this, right? No rectangle on the front where the doorway is. Um, what I'm going to do is that, draw that rectangle again. This is what I need you to see. If I right click on this face and go to texture, and then I'm looking in my little context menu here, I see a word called projected. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. You see where it says projected right there in the user interface? Okay, that's probably one of the most important things that you need to know about working with images on faces in SketchUp. If this image is not projected, like it isn't now, I'm going to end up with that kind of mess that I had before where it said crep over here on the inside and it kind of had the, the image map the wrong way. If I want to do that properly, what I need to do is right click, go to texture just like I did before, but make sure that projected right here is actually selected. So watch, I'm going to click on it and now that image is projected. Okay, watch, if I right click on it and go to texture, you'll see that that projected has a little tick mark next to it. That means that it's projected. Watch what happens now. I'm going to take my rectangle, and I'm going to draw a rectangle just like I did before, just like this. Only now, oops, let's just select this. I'm going to use the Move tool to just move my edge over here a little ways, because I didn't draw the rectangle very precisely. Let's kind of do that again. I'm going to use the Move tool to just kind of move this over a ways. There we go. So now the edge is kind of matched up to the black part of the rectangle. Watch this. When I take the Push-Pull tool and push this in now, let's say 24 inches, look what I end up with. I end up with this kind of streaky, kind of stripey texture on the insides of those faces right now. And the reason for that is the texture that we just made projected is now being projected perpendicular to this texture. It's almost as if there's a projector somewhere out here projecting onto this face. And since these faces that we pushed in are actually perpendicular to that direction, all we're getting is the one little row of pixels along the side here 
that's been pushed and kind of stretched across here. And that's called the stretched pixels effect. And that's usually desirable for what you're trying to do here. So let's actually repeat that. Watch. I'm going to go back. I'm going to make sure that my texture is projected. Let's go over here. I'm going to deselect this. Take the a rectangle tool. Let's draw. I'm going to draw a slightly bigger rectangle this way, and you'll see what happens this time. So notice my rectangle is now drawn in the white part of the picture and not the black part of the picture. If I take the push pull tool now and push this back 24 inches, you'll see that that stretched pixels effect is actually lighter now, and that's because um, because I pushed it back using pixels from the frame of the door this time. And uh, that's a pretty important thing to know. Let's take the push pull tool and just kind of push this in so that it's kind of more or less mapping the matching the door again. Now I'm going to end up with something that I I kind of like actually. Okay, so that's basically it. The thing you need to know is that you need to right click and choose texture projected when you're going to be taking um, these textures and actually push pulling into them or or doing other kinds of things with them just like that. Okay, that's the end of the thing you need to know video. Uh, I guess it's called the thing you have to know, actually, for Google SketchUp for Dummies.